This first dimensional analysis problem that we're going to do is a pretty basic one, something you could clearly do in your head, but we're just going to start off slow where you can learn the process of what you're going to do. For all factor label problems, but especially when you're a beginner, I would recommend kind of laying the problem out this way. The given is whatever piece of information you're told or given in the problem. The determine is what you're trying to figure out, where you're going. And then the conversion is a conversion factor to get you from your given to where you're trying to go. So this first problem, you're told that you have $8, so that's our given. And we're trying to determine, we're trying to figure out how many quarters that would be. And then we need a link between dollars and quarters. So we know that $1 has four quarters in it. That's our link or our conversion factor between dollars and quarters. All factor label problems, all of them, you're going to start every single one by taking whatever you're given, whatever you're told in the problem, goes over the number one. Then we're going to try and get rid of those dollars and turn them into quarters where we're trying to go. So we're going to take this conversion factor and we can take that conversion factor and write it one of two ways. We could either put one dollar over four quarters, like this, or take it and flip it and say four quarters is the same thing as one dollar. We want our dollars to cancel out and go away, kind of like in that eight thirds times three fourths math problem we did just a second ago. So I'm going to choose the conversion factor on the right with the dollars on the bottom. I'm going to put this in a little goal post looking thing just to kind of keep our information organized. We want dollars on the bottom and quarters on the top. That way, our words dollar and dollars can cancel out, kind of like in that 8 thirds times 3 fourths, the 3 and the 3 canceled out. Well, now we're at quarters, which is where we were trying to go, so you know you've hit the end of the problem. Now you just multiply across. 8 times 4 is 32. On the bottom, 1 times 1 is just 1. 32, and our unit would be quarters. $8 is is the same thing as 32 quarters.